Rumours coming out that Giovinazzi could be a possible replacement for Sebastian Vettel if he decides to leave Ferrari for Alfa Romeo. It always looked like the kind of track that asks an awful lot of the rear tyres, such as the frequency of low speed exits. No matter how good a driver is at managing their throttle application to limit rear slip, they can't always overcome a car that's inherently bad at looking after its rear tyres. Here we have a lot of low speed corner exits, which means a whole load of energy, heat and tyre wear. Hi guys, Brown here and welcome back to episode 19 of my F1 2019 career mode here today for the American Grand Prix at Cota and what a track this is, I absolutely love this track I'm really quick around it, I like to think I am and I think um, we have a chance to get some good points this weekend especially after the disappointing views in Russia Japan and last time at MXO which if you haven't seen watch that before you continue to watch this one um, so you can see we're on our lap here our first lap in Q1 and we got a nice toe off of the McLaren there of Hulkenberg so this should hopefully be a decent enough lap you can see that it looks like it might rain it's not going to rain um, unless the weather decides otherwise it wasn't forecast to rain in this session that lap though puts us up into P2 and now we're simming on the rest of the session I thought that should be enough but as it turns out it just about was P13 those out though in Q1 uh, George Russell, Kevin Magnussen, Nico Hulkenberg, I think that was, and Lance Stroll and Robert Kubica as well. As in Q2, we come on to the end of our first run, and round the final corner we go, heading up to the line, across the line, and that's P3. So that should hopefully be enough, a good enough lap. As you can see, skipping on to the end of the session, I was just using a a flying lap and you can see we have six seconds to get to the line and we're not gonna do it and that's gonna result in us starting in P11 and knocked out in Q2 <sighs> that is one of the most embarrassing ways to get knocked out in qualifying um, so it's gonna be another long Sunday so let's get what into fantastic it. fantastic enthusiasm we have for Formula One here in the United States of America. And it's an enthusiasm born from generations of memorable Grand Prix racing. Bruce McLaren took his maiden victory at Sebring way back in 1959. And John Watson's 1983 victory at Long Beach, well that still holds the record for the lowest ever starting position for a race winner. We have 10 turns to the left and 10 to the right here at the fantastic Circuit of the Americas overtaking opportunities into turn 1 and 12 at this anti-clockwise 3.6 mile track and we should see average lap speeds of around 126 miles per hour. Anthony Davidson is here once again for today's Grand Prix. So, let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. What a season they've had. A well-deserved championship victory and the pressure now surely off with the title already in the bag. It really is well-deserved. I wouldn't say it's been a faultless title challenge, but certainly one that has been consistent and well-managed. Here's hoping they let off a bit of steam today and give us an exciting race. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Gasly, Charles Leclerc and Bottas. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Raikkonen, Albon, Grosjean and Brown, Ricardo, Butler, Sergio Perez and Norris, Magnussen. Weber, Nico Hulkenberg, and Lance Stroll, Kubica, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. And now it's time to head down to the track. So it's going to be a one-stop race from 
starting on the soft tyre, going to the mediums, you can see there's a chance of rain, but let's get into this American Grand Prix then. It's lights out, and away we go, it's Hamilton v Vettel into turn one, but the gloves are very much off with the title been decided. And here we are behind Alex Albon, and with his, the back of Alex Albon, Charles Leclerc has been spun round now, and now, so has... Kimi Raikkonen, we've been forced off the track, Leclerc spinning round, it's absolute chaos at the start of this American Grand Prix, we've gone off the track because I had uh, to give the place back to Bottas as everyone goes flying through, wow, what happened at that start, absolute chaos that I feel like we caused a little bit, we've got an orange front wing now, we're going to have to come in. There's battles behind. And this is a replay of what happened. I just misjudged completely um, where Albon was breaking. You can see we got hit. We, we hit Albon and then we spun Leclerc and then we got caught up in what happened with Raikkonen. And then we had to give the place back to Bottas. This is the view from Albon. So he gets hit at the back, goes into the Red Bull of Verstappen who just about holds on there somehow and gets away pretty much scot free so we kind of give Albon a little bit of a buffer he's still side by side with Verstappen there and he hasn't managed to overtake him this is the view from Kimi Raikkonen so everything happens there you can see and he tries to go right round the outside gets spun by a Mercedes and now it's just sideways pulls himself straight we go through you can see that and then so does Bottas this is Bottas's perspective of it oh into time one there's the contact there's the clear round and then Bottas just gets sandwiched completely and then we have to give the place back to him and then he actually gets slowed down by the um, alpha of Raikkonen and on this was, was Ricardo's perspective of it and Leclerc just spinning round there and him getting away with it and he actually makes contact there with us with trying to steer around Ra Raikkonen and then I'm not really sure what happened in there the AI getting a bit um, senseless with all of that and then that's where Verstappen got hit remember from Albon's perspective and and then this is Leclerc the absolute victim he gets spun round by us and then the Renault of Butler did a great job to stop the car and not hit him and now reverse him back and now watching everyone go past nearly hitting the other alpha of Lucas Weber and then I'm not sure what Leclerc's doing here and then that is pretty much his race ruined now it's gonna have to be on a, a, a real charge to get back through so here we come into the pits we've lost half our front wing it's going to be a long race from here we're going to go into the hard tyre and we're going to pray that that rain that's scheduled to come right at the end of the race comes so we can get back in this race we're going to go on the hard tyre and we're just going to see how far it can go we're going to change the front wing and off we go I said at the end of Mexico, I said at the start of this race that we needed a good result and within, what is it, probably about 400 metres into turn one, it's all gone down the window and I don't know, here is Charles Leclerc on the back of George Russell, gets past Leclerc, although being spun, he didn't, he got away with damage so he's doing alright down the inside of George Russell he goes and now he has the two McLarens up ahead that are actually battling and I think it's Lando ahead of um, Hulkenberg so Leclerc just trying to have, gonna have to get through these two as quick as he can he's trying to go round the outside there of Nico Hulkenberg I think it, that's the way round they are now here he comes DRS open here comes Sergio Perez, I think, past Alex Albon. And down the inside he goes, he's going to go for it. Down, in fact, it is Lance Stroll down the inside. 
got the job done in the background there Charles Leclerc has got one McLaren he's now trying to go around the outside of the other he's still on the outside of the other McLaren there and now I think down the inside he should have the job done here yes he does get both McLarens no he doesn't he's still there Lando Norris they're still side by side he backs out of it in the end though and Alex Albon making a massive mistake there and the Williams of Robert Kubica goes through and now Charles Leclerc can now have a go at getting past our teammate Alex Albon pulls to the inside of him heading up towards turn one hopefully this time we'll still be facing the right way after getting through it down the inside of Alex Albon he goes and is past the Toro Rosso there and now he can get chasing after the Williams of Robert Kibitza skipping on now up front this is Pierre Gasly getting overtaken by Valtteri Bottas in the Mercedes past goes Valtteri Bottas down the inside and he's clean through there Gasly not really having a response and Bottas going straight past the Red Bull man there as now skipping on George Russell pits and we're trying to go round the outside of him and he just pushes us completely off the track I mean I wouldn't have the pace to stick with him because we've been on these tyres now 8 laps and we're 2 compounds harder than what George Russell was on here comes Lewis Hamilton down the inside of Pierre Gasly and that is a lovely move by the now 6 time world champion and now he can head after his teammate here comes Kimi Raikkonen side by side with Sergio Perez round the outside goes Kimi Raikkonen trying to defend down the inside he goes Perez now on the outside Raikkonen's inside line now turns to the outside as he goes sailing all the way around the outside goes Kimi Raikkonen and now he's got him into that corner and what a lovely move that one was here comes Charles Leclerc on Lance Stroll the other racing point and I'm guessing he would have this move done pretty quickly as he pulls to the inside and he's passed Lance Stroll already there before he even gets to the corner in fact that is Sergio Perez but he's locked up has Charles Leclerc but he stayed ahead and now here he comes Charles Rever taking Nico Hulkenberg and now he might even get Devon Butler as well surely not what down the inside what a great move there by Charles Leclerc the AI on AI this year is absolutely amazing and here comes Nico Hulkenberg catching out Devon Butler but Devon Butler's managed to keep him behind just somehow that's absolutely amazing and now here comes Alex Albon past past um, Devon Butler down the inside now he goes and now round the outside Devon Butler's gonna have to defend in fact no it's not it's Danny Rick Danny Rick uh, down the inside we try to go these two have made their second stop so they've just been brought into the clutches of us now we try to go down the inside of Danny Rick there that didn't really work out Alpin has overtaken the Aussie man though now we're looking to overtake and you can see there spots on the camera the rain is very much here at the end of this American Grand Prix as we skip on you can see how much we're struggling for grip the DRS has been disabled which normally means it's time for rinses or it's time for wets so at the end of this lap we are going to pit for the intermediate tyre so we are well and truly back into this race but we've got to have some unbelievable pace on that in intermediate tyre to get any chance of points so I don't think we can get points um, I think if we can get if we can get um, high 
somewhere near points like 13th, 14th, maybe even 12th. But we'd get held up by our teammate because I'd rather get held up in the pits. I tried to back off a little bit to be honest to allow my teammate to go in and out and then allow me to go in and out of getting held up. But it didn't really work. So we've lost a couple of positions. We haven't lost out to Devon Butler though, sorry, Danny Ricardo. And now we can push off after Nico Hulkenberg and George Russell. And there, pulling off, is Sebastian Vettel. After I was saying in the last video that rumours of him going to Alpha, moving away from um, Ferrari is there. We go down the inside of Nico Hulkenberg. That's a great move. And now we maybe have a look at George Russell in the Williams. This is going on to the final lap then, the battle for 15th, it's do or die, down the inside, we go on George Russell, we somehow got a stuck, he just turned in on us there, we've gone a bit wide, going through that corner, but it doesn't matter, we round the final corner, to what is going to be P15, and to be honest, not the greatest of races, but at least we had a bit of action down at Turn 1. And Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack. And having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes. So Lewis Hamilton gets another win this season. I'm not sure how many exactly that is now. You we'll have to go back through the videos and check, see who won each one. But that's got to be at least eight, nine, maybe even ten, maybe even more. To be honest, it's absolutely dominated this season, and that is why he is a six-time world champion now in the game, and probably will be at the end of the season in real life as well. Hopefully, if he doesn't completely bottle it, I don't think he will. Um, you can see we've also made Sergio Perez our rival. I did that um, for Mexico, you would have seen as well. Um, obviously, I mentioned that in the Japan episode, I think. So, we've now got Sergio Perez, who we're losing to in the rivalry. And this is the transcript, so if you want to pause the video, have a look through them. And we're going to do our final upgrade of the season on the chassis side of the car. And that will come in for Brazil. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully we can get a decent result soon enough. Hopefully that is in Brazil. But until Brazil, if you've liked the video, hit the like button. If you'd like this kind of content, consider subscribing. But until the next video... And until Brazil, goodbye.